In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a little mini scheme that you could utilize out of the single back wing flex close in the Las Vegas Raiders offensive playbook in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is focused in on helping you improve your Madden 21 uh, game both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. And so if you're interested in getting better, we post four videos a day here on the YouTube channel. One at 2 o'clock, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, one at 8 o'clock, and then every single night we live stream and basically answer questions, answer Madden questions live uh, with our uh, community at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern every single night. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, one of the things I wanted to do today is I wanted to talk a little bit about the Raiders book, and I wanted to put maybe a different spin on this single back wing flex close uh, formation. Now, this formation, I think, is really powerful, obviously, for the running side of things, but what we're going to do today is we're going to dive into some of the route combinations and some of the simple things that you can do from this that's really going to put a lot of stress on your opponent. And the way that we're going to do it is we're going to talk about kind of uh, what your opponent's going to do on the defensive side to try to combat this formation. There's really two major things that you're going to face. You're going to face, number one, you're going to face either big nickel over G, pretty much guaranteed, or you're going to face some type of nickel three through five wide. Those are the two primary formations that people are going to be using against you um, to be able to stop some of the running sets from the wing flex close. And so I wanted to break down some of the things that you could do to kind of combat it. Little quick quick routes, quick passes, quick things that you can do off of your running system um, to make this a full scheme for you. So we're going to dive in. Seeing my wing flex close is one of my favorite formations year in and year out um, just because of the quick passability that it offers you uh, with the motion snaps. Now, uh, my friend Hoodie was running this a little bit earlier in the year, and he has a great video breakdown as well on this formation. So if you're interested in really diving into this formation, um, after you watch this video, you can go check out his channel. Uh, just search Hoodie904 in the YouTube bar, and it'll come up. But uh, what I wanted to do today, like I said, I just wanted to talk through uh, some of the different motions and things like that. So on the coaching adjustment side of things, uh, on defense, we're going to turn auto flip on. We're going to put ball in air defense to play ball. I'm going to put the alignment to default. Option defense, we'll put that on conservative. And then I don't know what people are going to do right here. I would guarantee, uh, pretty much imagine that they'd put these at 20. But um, that's kind of standard practice at this point. But what we're going to do first, and the defense that I think is a little, like, I think more people are running this right now um, than they are running this, but I could be wrong on that. But we'll just work through uh, big nickel over G. Now, one of the things you have to really plan for whenever you go under center is you have to plan for um, the blitz, right? And this is why, to me, what I like about under center, it's kind of a double-edged sword, but um, what I personally like about under center formations is that it allows you to get the ball out as like super, super fast. You can snap throw um, pretty much anything. I mean, you can literally get the ball out in a second, right? Um, the one issue with that, uh, at least from what I've seen in, in Madden so far, is that that can kind of, um, even though you can get the ball out quick, your receivers might not be open <laughs> and the pressure can come in really, really fast. So uh, we're going to kind of plan for that. We're going to give you a plan. Um, we're going to give you kind of what I would do with this. Uh, now, what I would encourage you to do is have your best wide receiver on the left outside receiver. So that's going to be Tyreek Hill for the Chiefs, uh, McCole Hartman here. You don't need the Chiefs to run this scheme. Um, I'm just practicing kind of with – honestly, I just needed a tight end apprentice. Um, I would recommend having a tight end apprentice. Um, or if you're playing in the mutt, having like a backfield master. Uh, honestly, the Bucks, uh, the Buccaneers are a really good team to run this scheme with because there's a lot of cool things you could do uh, with hot route master. And then as you get into mutt, I would just recommend having a slot apprentice and a tight end apprentice and a backfield master. That's all you really need. Um, but we're going to go through. So first things I want to do is I want to – I don't want to miss – I don't want you to miss this. I do want to show you um, some of the running plays that you can do uh, from this formation. So these are our audibles. We're just going to show you the runs real quick. Um, HB dive, HB zone weak, zone fake jet, jet sweep. And then, um, obviously, you know everything about stretch. So I, we'll come back to stretch here in just a moment. Uh, I want to come out in the HB toss uh, week. 
Now, primarily, the way that people are going to play you, especially if you're playing someone that's running the big nickel of a G, is they're going to um, basically uh, show blitz, right? That's going to be their primary thing that they're going to do. And what they're likely to do is they're likely to stand in the A gap with this guy right here, Summers. Very, very popular uh, little little tactic, you know, pinch line, crash out. That's kind of the standard, you know, big nickel over G uh, look that you're going to get or front. Um, and what you'll notice is how do we attack this, right? So how do we attack this? My favorite thing to do, honestly, um, what you'll notice here, like if, if I take, and I'm, a, I'm just going to blitz Summers to try to imitate this as best I can. But what you'll notice here is if I run halfback dive, Summers is going to have a good chance of coming right through the A-gap. As you can see right there, he comes through the A-gap, and he's able to make a play on me, right? So I can't really run halfback dive to the right. Now, this is one thing, one little tactic that people have been trying to do uh, within, this, within this offense, and that is that they've been trying to – obviously, you can leverage this a little bit. But depending on where you're going, you can ID the user. So if I ID the mic, so you do that by hitting L1 um, and then hitting X. Uh, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to kind of move your cursor until you get to the guy you want. And then you're going to hit X to ID. So I'm, I'm, uh, I hit ID the mic and then I just kind of can move this around. This is just going to, I don't know, on, I honestly don't know what this does. I think it tells the center who to block. Um, that's my personal opinion. But anyway, we're going to ID that guy. And then what you could do is you could double team, you know, whoever that key person is that you want to block. So I'm going to ID the mic, and then maybe I want to block, um, you know, this this left side or the right side guy. Now what I like to do when I'm running the dive is I might, you know, hit circle and get onto one of these linemen, one of these interior guys, and I actually really like to get on um, the left guard because I like to cut the dive back. And now what you'll see, you see he's still able to come in. So, you know. Yes, you can. It does help some, but it doesn't ultimately solve the problem that you're facing within this formation. Now, for those of you really quickly um, that have been following my channel for a little bit and really want to take your batting game to the next level, I actually have a text message membership that is designed to help you do just that. My text message membership is completely free. All you have to do to get it is shoot me a text message. Now, what you get in the text message membership is really, really cool. We give you guys basically every single week some type of high-level Madden um, scheme or concept that you can apply to your own game. And uh, in the past, some of the things that we have given in our text message membership is we've given a one-and-a-half-hour um, video on the shotgun bunch from the Carolina playbook. We've put in there a uh, trips tight end pass defense, uh, a defense that you can use when you're facing people that run trips tight end. And I think we talked about the big nickel over G for a grand total of over, um, gosh, I think we talked about Big Nickel Over G for uh, over an hour and a half as well uh, when we did a video breakdown on that, kind of showing all the pressures, all the run defenses, all the coverage schemes that you can do out of it. We also did a video on the gun, um, the gun ace slot offset. For those of you that don't know, I just released my New England Patriots offensive guide, um, which is over 300 pages and has over 30 video breakdowns uh, with over uh, 10 to 15 hours of video content, and we cover over 36 formations. And so um, I just released that guide, and the text message members got a free sample formation out of the eight slot offset, which is over an hour long, teaching you everything that you can do from that formation. So if you want to pick up some of that content, literally all you got to do is shoot me a text message. The link to my New England guide is in the description. Uh, I think it's probably the most balanced offense in Madden 21 this year. But um, anyways, um, so if you want to get that content, all you got to do is shoot me a text message and uh, and I'll shoot it to you. You get all the playlist, uh, the playlist, so you get all the videos um, just by texting me one time. But anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit more about this run defense. So as you can, so so this is kind of what I would do on Big Nick Rover G, right? This is this is kind of what I would do. And what you'll notice here is, so I can't really run dive, right? That that movement right there tells me I can't really run dive. Can't really do it, right? What I could do is I could run this zone weak. And what you'll notice about this zone weak is the blocking on it really works for you. I mean, it it's one of those runs. That doesn't look like much, but when they, against some of the way that people play run defense, I really like this run. Um, some of the things that it's able to do is it's able to really deal with this, with this right here, right? This little alignment right here, it's able to kind of handle that. 
So if I, for example, uh, ID whoever it is I want the center to block, it could be this guy, it could be this guy, right? So I'm going to ID this guy. And then, you know, I might go ahead and say, okay, well, where do I want my, where's the key block for the zone weak? Where's the key block? To me, the key block is on this outside right here. And then, you know, from there, you could do different motion snaps. So, like, I could take both of, either one of these tight ends I could motion over, or I could motion over either one of these wide receivers. So, for this example, what I might do is I might just try to bluff, like we're running uh, a quick slant or something to the outside here, by motioning that receiver to the left. And as you can see here, you know, we're able to, you know, able to run the ball. So just understanding uh, zone weak, I think, is really, really important, you know, uh, and, and I think zone weak from this formation is actually very underrated. Uh, people don't realize the power that it, it really does have. Uh, as you can see here, you can run this. This is a, just a yard gainer, okay? So that's the zone weak. Um, what about the zone fake jet? This is one of my favorite, for me, for favorite running plays in the game because this is what this is going to do. I guarantee you. I guarantee you you'll get someone doing this. What's going to happen is they're going to stand right here with their user, right? And you're going to run the zone. You're going to run the jet sweep. And what's going to eventually happen is you're going to run the jet sweep consistently from this. And they're going to basically jump to the outside. Well, if they jump to the outside with their right side guy, look at this right here. Everything's open on the left. As long as we hold that block on the left side, everything's open. It's the zone weak run. It's just tagged into a zone weak. And I think you actually get really good um, because of the blocking mechanics. Like, let me show you Jet Sweep now really quickly here. And it's perfect for the Chiefs, right? You got Tyreek Hill, 99 speed. But you see how he's able to get out there? See that right there against that big nickel over G defense? And it's just a quick hitter. It's just a real quick, you know, hitter type of play. Now, part of that's because I'm going to cover three defense. I want to show you what happens when I'm going to cover two defense just so you can see it. Um, again, they're going to be standing right here. I guarantee it. You know, something like that right in the middle. And when you want run jet sweep, you do want to ID, you know, one of these two guys right here. I typically ID the defensive tackle. I personally think the key block is so that there's no penetration on that right side. So we just want to sure up, you know, that there's no penetration on this right side here. And uh, what you'll notice here with this run is if you're, if you see how, you see how that corner sits out on that? If you see that, and this is what I like about this play. If you see that, you can do a couple things. There's a couple options that you have. Number one, what you could do is you could click on to G uh, Seals Jones and try to get him to block, you know, whoever that is, right? Whoever that is. So at the snap of this ball here, what you'll notice is now he does hit the block and we're able to get out for a quick five. This offense is not about one play running. You, you're, you know what I mean? It's, it's not about that. It's about being able to consistently move the ball. So when they bring this linebacker right here over the center, and let's say that they pinch their let's say that they pinch their line, you're gonna get something like this, right? You're gonna get Savage blitzing off the edge, you know, let's just say they're being really aggressive, right? Something like that. So same thing. You know, we're we're just going to kind of stay honestly really simple here, right? This this simple load up right here. I want you to watch if the corner shoots out. Like right there, he shoots out. I'm going to double juke that back in. I'm going to get three yards. I'm just going to simply double juke back in. And the way you double juke is all you have to do is you just juke to the right and then juke to the left at the same time. So it's one motion. It's just right, left. And that little quick, um, to me, you know, another thing I actually like to do is use kind of a, a cut like right there. I think it's a little bit more steerable. But as you can see, that little cut right there, that can do a lot for your offense. So what's going to happen is, and, and, and really, you know, the, the cover two is sound against this. I mean, the cover two probably does the best job at defending jet sweep. Uh, and what you'll see that they'll do with their user is if they're in a situation where they're facing this, they're just going to, um, they're just, they're just going to try to basically contain it to the outside. Most people don't really lab how to stop jet sweeps. Um, they just kind of think that it's an outside run. Well, you can do this nice little double juke and cut it back against the grain, especially if you have an agile player there. So what I like to do is occasionally, you know, I'm going to run through right here and I'm just going to double juke immediately and, and, and just instantly get that, you know, as soon as I get the ball, I double juke. One other little quick tip with this, and this is with, especially if you have like a Tyreek Hill, 
basically what you're going to do is do a little stop and then you're going to basically reverse field and and you can do this and 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 i'm telling you right now this this is a good look for certain types of defense it's not a good look for every defense that they're going to run against you but certain types of defenses this can work really really well this little cut that i'm about that i'm about to show you again all you're doing um all you're doing is you're just stopping him in the backfield and basically turning him around um and essentially if they're over pursuing if they start to over pursue on the jet sweep on the back side of things you can kind of basically control what's happening on this play so for example if i had something like this you know this is kind of a cover two set kind of a cover two defense here and what you'll notice kind of stop right here and then i can kind of you know kind of just basically run right down the middle you know i don't i don't have to i don't have to just go to the left side but you get a lot more control over this jet sweep this year in my opinion and and what i like is you can kind of turn it into a power o so so that's some of the that that's some of the things you can do with that the other thing you can do with this zone fake jet is you can go right here and then you can go you know obviously into a zone read so so that's the jet sweep that's the the, the zone week uh some things you can do with that obviously everything that i'm saying here you can apply it to motioning and you should apply it to motion meaning you should be motion snapping you know pretty much routinely every play in my opinion uh every every time you go um you should you should motion snap uh, at, at, at some level unless you're just going to quick hike over um, real quick what i want to do is i want to cover a couple more runs here for you guys and again i want to stay in that same defense um big nickel over g because i think if you come out in this formation that's what you're going to get you're going to get big nickel over g i'd be surprised if they come out in three three five wide against this um specific run plays um but essentially you know that's the look you're going to get so now what I want to show you now is halfback stretch. Now, really quickly, it's going to be kind of hard to, to show here, but when you run halfback stretch from this formation, the linebacker should be able to come right through the A-gap. You see he's able to come right through there and kind of kind of pursue it. So they can kind of – you see how they can kind of shoot through and basically, you know, kind of harness a little bit of what uh, of what this can do. So the stretch run is is, is, is probably your weakest run, I would say. Uh, out of all the run plays but let me just show you here so again this is the kind of front you're looking at so now if i try to run to the left i just want to show you what it looks like here um, you get a little bit better blocking to the, the left in my opinion from this formation than you do from the right uh, just because i feel like these stacked receivers do a pretty good job now most people are going to try to stop stretch from a tampa two you know so if they bring this backside backer here to the left side and they do something like this, you'll see, you know, they got a little bit of a chance here. You see how that linebacker flows to the ball really well. Stretch is not, you know, by any means a, a great look uh, against this specific defense. It's a really good look against other defenses. For example, if they're coming out in, um, you know, different types of nickel, like nickel normal or, or just different things like that. Like if they're not shooting the gap from this, you can actually do pretty good. Now, if you catch them and you run the ball to the right and they're shifting over um, with that backside linebacker, it's a good look. You're going to get about three to five yards. Um, but but anyways, that's the stretch. Now, the last run that I – or I got two more runs I wanted to show you, and then I got a, a, a little quick quick pass for you today. So the next run I want to show you is halfback toss week. Now, this, in my opinion, is kind of the cream of the crop. It's the best run in this formation for what most people will do against you. What you'll notice is this pinch look right here, right? You see this? This is common. This is this is a very common look. They're going to do something like this right here, guarantee it. And you notice that you have a nice numbers advantage on the outside. If you can get this ball to the outside edge, you could really do some stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to ID the mic, and then we're going to basically just run toss. And what you'll see here is you get pretty good blocking, and you can get out and get for you know about four to five uh, yards consistently running this little toss play. And we'll show it to you one more time here. And you can also, what's nice about this formation is you can run this to both sides. So you can run it left, you can run it right, and um, you'll just kind of put some stress on the put some stress on the defense here. So again, you can run that toss, you can cut it in, you can cut it out. Um, it's actually really really good against the nickel three three five wide and what a lot of people like to do out of that. I think running this toss to the right side 
and basically just taking your um, your left side guy and running him on that little motion right here. You can see he should go out and block that safety for you. And you can kind of cut this toss up. It's basically a nice little toss that you can go in multiple directions. You've got a lot of control over this. So I can run this toss quick to the right, and I can just cut it right up if I wanted to. Okay, So you have all of these options within this toss play. And then the last run I want to show you is inside zone split. Now, this run, uh, in theory, what you would get is, is if they try to do this shoot, you would think the tight end's going to pick him up. Let's see here. See how he kind of makes it muddy? See how that tight end shooting across kind of makes it muddy for people to shoot the gap? It's almost like he, it's almost like it's this formation's version of power O. Now I want to show you this to the left side. Now the unfortunate part about the left side, if you run this to the left, you notice that the you notice that you can't really run it to the left, right? You can only run it to the right. Um, so that's the one thing that's kind of unfortunate about this. But look, that tight end does a good job. I mean, he kind of shoots across and 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 basically keeps everything from getting shot. Like there's no, um, it's it's a it's not really a good option for the defense to try to shoot this run. Um, from what I'm seeing, you know, really. You know, see how, see how he shoots across? See that right there? Even if they come through, that tight end is able to carry that. So this run right here is actually um, a really, really good run and kind of kind of does a lot of good things for what you see. I just comes across, gets that slot corner. This cutback right here is a, is a very, very good cutback for this run. So when you're running this, one of the things that you will probably experience um, when you're running it is he's going to come across. And you can stop and go and basically come back outside here. So you can you know, just do a little levy on. It's it's where you're basically going to get your levy on bell on, right? You're gonna, you know, effectively what you're trying to do here is this is a zone that is cut backable, meaning you know you could take this to the right, but you can also you see how that guy's going to crash off the edge there. I could I have a chance to be able to get outside, you know, and make a big play on that left side. One more way I wanted to show you to run this. And um, this is more of just kind of doing, kind of probably what it's designed to do, but basically just kind of steering him to the left. And then you see there, I'm in the open field. You know, overall, I think the inside zone split might be the might be one of the most underrated runs from this formation. And uh, I want to show you three three five wide really quickly against that specific run. So if they come out in nickel three three five uh, three three five wide, I'm sorry. What you'll see uh, again, single back wing flex close, and. Uh, just for fun, we'll we'll bring out the um, the stretch. But what you'll see here is this is single back um, single back nickel three three five wide, right? So this is a pretty solid little run defense. You know, a lot of people do stuff like this right here, um, and you know, and basically they're able to to, to lock up against the run. Um, the stretch run does decent against this against this look. The stretch run does decent against this look. Nickel 55 wide is not as shoot friendly, in my opinion, um, as um, as the big nickel over G is. Right? It's it, it is shoot friendly, but it's not like you really got to. I mean, it's it's a tight shoot. It's a tighter shoot. It's not as easy, in my opinion. But what you'll see on this inside zone split, if you run this to the right, you see you're going to get this nice cutback lane, and that's right running it right into an inside stuff. You know, so this this cutback lane uh, from inside zone split, I think, is the real deal, and I think you can really leverage it. I mean, you see stuff like this all the time, right? They're gonna try to shoot through here. There's really no window to shoot it, and um, you see there. I mean, you're able you're able to that that tight end blocking coming across in that little route does a really good job. Um, okay, so now the last play I wanted to talk about is the slip screen. Now, what you'll notice on the slip screen is you actually get some interesting routes. You get a corner or a post route, and you get this little slant route. Um, now, real quick, what you always want to do is you want to check your motions. Where can you motion players? Um, you see here I can motion this running back to the left here. This is an interesting little tactic, just a little flip, flip, uh, little flip screen right here, and he's out, and he goes. Um, this slip screen I think is underrated um, just because – you can motion the back multiple directions. So, like, if I wanted to motion, you know, I can run, I can run this, and you know, just motion this back to the left. You know, basically spam A or spam X, get that ball out there, and get pretty decent blocking. Right? You could do that. That's an option that you have in your arsenal um, with this play. The next thing that you can do from this, 
with this slip screen is because you're under center, you're going to get a little bit better of a snap uh, kind of throw here. See how it's just a drop back? It's just a, it's a, it's a drop back. It's not, um, it's not kind of a, a shuffle. Like in, in shotgun, when you throw slip screens, it's kind of like a shuffle. This is more like a drop back, right? So what I could do is I could run Tyree Kill out here to the left. And you'll see here, he doesn't start. You see how he starts to shuffle at the back of his drop? So he's a drop back and then he's going to shuffle. So how you cancel that is you just hold left. You just click left trigger, left trigger twice. So you're going to click left trigger really, really quickly two times. And that should basically give you full control over the quarterback. And what you should see here is now you've got two quick reads right there. You see how he stops? See how he stops and kind of freezes? Now what that allows you to do, because a lot of people are going to do this. I guarantee you're going to see something like this. You're going to see this right here. Right? Max coverage. But they're going to basically set their lineup to run D. And they're going to use her uh, summers. I guarantee you're going to see something like this. So if you're able to get that auto drop back canceled, then what that allows you to do is put yourself right there. And see how he just stands there? See how he just stands there? So now what you can do, as long as your, you know, as long as your line gives you a second or two, and that's why I like the slide left, is this little, see here, I can kind of, and then I have full control, and now I can hit this crosser. You know, I can hit the post. I can hit the, you know, and, and really, um, you almost just kind of go to the right. And, and, and by managing that pocket, by managing that pocket in a creative way, that's going to give you more time. So I'm going to go right here, and I'm just going to slide, slide. And see, I have I have probably an extra second or two to at least be able to look at the post route on the left side and look at the crossing route and be able to determine are they open or are they not. Because most people, when they run screen, they're just going to throw the screen. Well, this route, you now have other options. So if I just get over here, you see right there I can get that out. Now, again, that wasn't the right read, but but I can get the ball out, and I can make a solid pocket throw without having the shimmy, the little shuffle steps and all of those things. So this little screen, to me, is actually very, very, very um, you know big of an option. And again, your thing is you just want to slide to the left. Whenever you, whenever you get control of your quarterback, you're just shuffling him to the left side. Uh, I want to show you one other tactic that you can do from this. It's just to hold hold this guy to the right. And you see here, you're just shuffling, 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 reading, reading, reading. And you might get something like that. Now, when you do run this, one of the things I would suggest is understanding where you should motion. So, for example, um, if you want to run that post on the left side, obviously you can't, you know, the routes are the routes. You can't really change the route. You see, I can't hot route. I'm hitting the hot route button. It's not bringing anything up. But what you'll notice is if I motion hill out, again, you're just going to go right, 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 right. You can hit this crosser or you can hit this um, these posts. They actually give you, in my opinion, they give you really, really good routes on these uh, slip screens. I wish I could smart route Tyreek Hill's route so that it would go a little bit shorter. But, like, if let's say they're in man coverage, you know, you basically could throw this right on the cut. Um, I don't know if I got my zone drops back or not. But if they're coming up on the screen – Right? Maybe they're well, let me let me give you an example of how this would actually what this would actually look like in the game. So they're gonna be using this guy right here, right? Very commonly they're gonna be using this guy right here. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna take the screen. That's what they're gonna do. If they see screen, most of the time they're gonna take screen. Well what that's gonna do is it's gonna take their user out of the middle of the field. And now I can throw I can throw this route to Tyreek or I can throw the crosser. I could have thrown the crosser a little bit earlier. I was trying to see the and, – and, and another thing is, you know, Pat, without Patrick Mahomes having Gunslinger, it does make it a little bit harder um, than I would like it. But you'll see. I mean, you'll see. This is going to open up the middle of the field, and that's really um, that's really the key because they're going to have to – they're going to have to hard flat. They can't not hard flat, right? So they're going to have to hard flat somebody. They're going to have to drop, you know, and they're going to have to do something like uh, what I'm about to do right here. This is a coverage that you will see a ton if you play um, single back wing flex close, right? So you run this, you get this out, they see screen, they bring their guy out of the middle of the field, and then now your crossing route's wide open. So that is a little bit, you know, I know this is a lot of detail to go into about a screen pass. Um, I want to give you one other passing play today 
um, or right now, and then we're going to uh, give you another another uh, breakdown, a part two to this uh, little little book here. But there's just so much you can do from this, and uh, I think people miss some of the little things about this formation. So single back wing flex close, and this time what you're going to do is you're going to come out and just play PA jet sweep. This is a, off of this is a play that is built off of that jet sweep that we're talking about. Now, obviously, once again, I can't do any hot routes. I can't smart route anybody. I can't really do anything, right? All I can do is snap this ball. But what you'll notice is looks exactly the same. You get all these all this action. One thing you want to make sure you do on this is that you slide your line to the left, um, because if you if you don't, you're gonna that's gonna happen. But basically, you know, you're gonna have all these things off of it now. And now you basically just have a high low. So you have that crossing route coming across. Um, that deep crossing route is really, really good. You're really, that corner route, that, that play side corner route that you have on the play, really what he's trying to do is he's just trying to um, be a pull route effectively for like a cover three or cover two. Um, and, and really you don't, you want that route. You, you, you want to run this play to the wide side of the field. Um, that's the idea because you need more space. Um, and really, it's almost meant to be a. It's really meant to be a rollout. Um, but as you can see, that crossing route gets really deep separation, and so it's just something. And, and one thing that you can do, and again, you want to understand the, the the tools that you have in your toolkit, right? One of the things that you can do on this is when the ball snapped right here, you can click right trigger, and kind of almost get out of that play action right there. We weren't able to get out of it, but but you you can um, you can sometimes get out of that play action. And so, you know, you can use this play as a quick little, you know, flip maybe to this crosser. I shouldn't have thrown I, I I got my buttons mixed up. I was trying to hit the little flat route. But basically, you just have a high-low read. And, um, you know, obviously, their user is probably going to go to the right and take whatever is open. But this is just something, you know, I might call this once a game just to kind of fill it out. But you see, this flat route is pretty solid. Like, he can get up and he can get, you know, 10 to 15 yards. If they're playing anything but hard flats and then if they're playing hard flats let's say they're playing you know cover two hard flat out of this because they want to they don't want to give up the snap throw stuff you'll see that now your crossing route you know comes wide open over the over the middle of the defense and then let me just show you now mabel coverage is certainly going to do pretty good uh, i'm not going to sit here and tell you it's not you know if they if they run some type of cover two mabel like that's going to be okay but what you're anticipating is they're going to be blitzing a guy or they're going to be doing something underneath here. Uh, and really your job is to get out of your pocket, you know, and hit either the corner route. You see that corner route does get over um, a lot of the different things. And then one last coverage I want to show you. Um, one last coverage I want to show you. We're just going to have to make it on the field. But it's this, um, it's this cover three um, Mabel coverage. Let me show you right here. Right, just something, something like this right here, and of course, picnic over G um, zones are just weird the way they were. This guy should not be on this zone. We'll just continue blitzing. Oh, let's blitz him the edge. And what you'll notice here, same, same, same routes, right? Same progression. This is Mabel coverage, and you'll notice that this corner route gets outside against those deep halves most of the time so if they're you know if they're running uh something like let's say they're running you know a um, let's say they're running something like this right here right where you have a a cover three you know and then they shade this down um you know maybe they use with this guy right here you know but basically what we have is we have a cover three um mabel on that right side with a deep half to prevent anything deep and what you'll notice here is, man, this block sheds and price are insane. But what you'll notice is those crossing routes, those deep routes, they get they get in a really good position, and so you're able to, um, you know, you're able to do something like this right here, right? This is just Mabel coverage. That's all this is. This is basically cover three Mabel, and um, you know, just for the sake of this video. I want to just show you this route real quick. But you'll see right here, like, comes around, comes around, step up in the pocket, 
and you'll see this this is like if you have a gunslinger that's an easy completion uh with 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 Mahomes you know you you'd say okay we'll just hit your cross you down you know it, but but overall I think this I think this little play right here you know it just it just does a little bit it does a little bit off of that jet sweep action that can really be impactful but don't 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 sleep on this inside zone split I'm telling you right now this this inside zone split is um, is pretty powerful, and um, you can combine all of this stuff. We're going to show you some more passing in our next breakdown of the single back wing flex close um, today. So that that video will go live at four o'clock p.m. Eastern time. But this is all of like the running plays and the quick little hitters, um, as far as like just quick like slip screen or PA sweep or whatever. Um, so I think this will be helpful to you, especially if you run the Raiders playbook. This is a really, really good formation. Um, there's some other things you can do with audibly that we'll get into a little bit later today uh, for you. But all in all, um, this this is kind of part one of this little uh, mini scheme.